Hi, this is Ian, aka Mystic Coder. I'm going to take you through some basic Mystic Thumbs functionality here, give you an idea of what it can do and just how much you can customize your thumbnails according to what you need. Now, what you see in front of you is a pretty typical basic display of thumbnails under the default explorer. You see everything's like quite flat. In fact, most of, most of these icons shouldn't even be here. They're actually here because they've been cached before uh, from Mystic Thumbs, but they're still not showing everything that they can. And you see this one, this whole lock TGA is just an icon. And before you install Mystic Thumbs, you'll find that all, well, most of your images will actually look like an icon and that's why you've come to use the software. So let's go ahead now. Here's the control panel that you can double click with the icon in the bottom right system tray, the six thumbs icon, which is the white diamond. Double click that, it'll open the control panel where you can change all the options. I'll go ahead and quickly select all formats and enable them all so that will hook Mystic Thumbs into the thumbnailing system of Windows Explorer and straight away you see that everything has changed you've got transparent areas of these images coming through as checkerboards uh, everything's just cleaned up a bit this one's not showing for some reason let's try and refresh it there you go. So what I did there was you right click on any number of icons you want, in this case just the one, right click on it. Now Mystic Thumbs adds these two main menu items by default to the shell context menu. First one being thumbnail with all sorts of options you can change and the second one being the quick view. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got everything. We've got some smaller files. We're in extra large icon mode at the moment. We can change that to say details mode. Now in details mode by default, you won't see anything but file icons depending on what programs associated or what application is associated with that file. Music Thumbs also gives you the ability to enable the small icon mode, which is this button here. So I click that. And remember, at the moment, I'm using all formats. If I wanted to, I could just enable this, say, for DES files, in which case, you change that to one of the first two extension mode, file format mode, or everything. Let's just change it to file format mode. And we can either use this to select the file format, DirectX, Direct Draw Surface. Okay, I just typed that in. You can scroll down the list, but you can also type to find what you want. Alternatively, if you know the file extension, use the, uh, the find magnifying glass here and just either scroll down the list and find what you want or type in what you want, in this case DDS. Hit return. Now we have direct or surface enabled. All file extensions are enabled because we're in that mode. Press apply so that we're currently editing that mode. Now we want to enable the small icon mode We'll click this and apply again. We could alternatively press apply or change to an exit. That will, as it says, apply everything I've just done so far in the recent change ever since you've pressed apply to now and, and close the control panel. We don't want to do that. We just want to continue working. So we'll enable all of those. And now you see Windows 
has automatically updated all of those little icons to be little representations and little thumbnails of the images. Now we can change to any mode we want and we're going to get the image of each file. In some modes like this one, the content mode or details mode, you can get other information on the file as well. If you're working on photos, for example, you will get information on the ISO format, uh, shutter speeds and that sort of thing. You'll also see information on a file down the bottom here if you have the layout and details. Details pane down the bottom. You can also enable preview pane on the right. So you get a, a larger image of the file. So you know, as large as it will go depending on how large the file is and the uh, settings of that file format. So let's now the large icons mode, maybe even extra large. Let's play around with some of these. Let's right click on this one here. You can see it's got a transparent background checkerboard. You can go to the thumbnail menu and select opaque. And I'll show you what it actually looks like now. It looks all red because it's using the alpha channel of that image to select transparency. Default transparency back to the file format default. Transparent. There's no checkerboard behind it. You can see as I drag it around, it's transparent. Default again. Another option you might have just turn the preview pane off. Another option is to, if you right click in a window without having something actively selected and right clicking on it or on a number of things, if you right click in the window, you can do the same thing and change the options for everything within that folder. And optionally, depending on this option here, context menu, uh, I beg your pardon, that option, context menu actions, recurse or not recurse. It will go into every folder beneath it, whether or not you have that enabled. So I can set everything to opaque. Restore. In the case of smaller thumbnails, these images are smaller than the thumbnail that it's asking for. Windows is asking for a large 256 by 256 thumbnail here. We can change the default on those files to scale them up to the requested size. And you can see it's scaling them all up to the size requested. This one here is not as high and it's not going to deform the aspect so it's larger in width than height so that's the thumbnail you get. the scale up option as a default on a certain time file if we reset these to default sorry embedded thumbnail All right thumbnail scale up default back to normal these are well let's let's change the DDS files so let's set DDS we've got already got that selected Scaling of images to select the size, change that to scale up, apply, and you might have to refresh the window or refresh the thumbnails. Refreshing the thumbnails, of course, they're already cached. Uh, Mystic Thumbs doesn't tell the system to like scan the whole hard drive for changes that would take a lot of time and cause your system to slow down. So, if you want a change to a default file type to happen immediately, you can go back to your folder or folders 
or in individual files in this case. Select them, right click, thumbnail, refresh, and now you see that they are showing scaled up as we change the default option for DDS files. Refresh the whole folder. See the same thing. Context menu, these are global options along the bottom here. Check for updates, enable or disable that. So it will check for updates to the program once every day. I won't talk about that option yet. That's advanced. It's for network folders. If you if you're not getting refreshes on your thumbnails, you can use that option on network folders. Context menu, it's just enabling or disabling the ability to bring up the context menu within the Explorer Windows if you don't want that. Over, icon overlays, they are the file type association. If you have like Photoshop, for example, installed and Photoshop files, uh, then you'll see a Photoshop icon. Um, this enables or disables icon overlays for everything. If you don't like them, you can use that to disable icon overlays across the whole system, not just across Mystic Times enabled files. This option here is for having thumbnails on a desktop become transparent when they're transparent. So you've got nice looking icons on the desktop without checking boards or something else, depending on the options for that file. Refreshing of everything when you use context menu recursing in the subfolders, enabling and disabling the icon down the bottom. It's useful to have there, it's not really much use to get rid of that unless you really don't want it. Process priority, normal or low, normally you just leave that alone. And quick view is control space, bringing up a window, uh, a view of, of your files. It's very similar to the Macintosh systems where you press space. Unfortunately, we can't use space, we have to use control space, but you can bring up a quick view window and then use your cursor keys to scroll around the files within that directory. That's extremely useful just to quickly view all the images in your folders. Of course, that uses the Mystic Thumbs viewer, which has all the options that you're used to elsewhere. Transparent, opaque, light, dark, etc, etc. Scale up, scale down. You can resize that window. It gives you information on colors and so forth. This is the current size and the current effective size. This is not set to scale up, but we can change that. We change the nearest and smooth sampling options. You have to look carefully to see that. It's useful for game programmers and artists and so forth. So I hope that has given you some useful information on the sick thumbs. Come back next time for the next episode. Thank you.